Journal Entry, Sunday, January 8th, 2012, 7.27 p.m. Love. We use the word love so much, so simply, so quick, that we don't really grasp the true meaning behind it. You hear people say, I love cats, I love McDonald's, I love ants, I love that movie, I love my shoes, and even as far as, I'd love to see you dead. Then we go to God and say, I love you, God, or we hear God say, I love you. So does that mean God loves me as much as I love to see cats, McDonald's, ants, and a person dead? No. But yes, we're tricked to believe this sometimes. I certainly was. Now, I'm not saying, okay, we need to find a new word to replace the word love because it is too vague. I'm not George Orwell from one of those essays in Ms. McCarthy's class. Nah, I'm not. The word love is used all over the Bible. Who am I to change that? What I'm saying is, we need to grasp the true meaning of love. The true meaning of loving something or someone. We need to know love. Love is not jealous. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not hurting or being hurt. And love certainly is not hate. Love is nice. Love is kind. Love is a complex simplicity. Love is unconditional. Love is caring. Love is hoping. Love is praying. Love is giving. Love is selfless. Love is, is everything. Love cures and quenches. Love stops fights and wars. Love is the answer and the solution. Love is God. This is all that love is and possibly, probably more than I have listed. Love can never hurt simply because a person gives what he has. Therefore, love cannot give hurt because it does not have it. Love does not only love your body, your breast, your butt, or your privates. Love admires, adores, craves your body, your breast, your butt, your privates, your mind, your heart, your soul, your flaws, your hair, your nose, your eyes, your intelligence, your gifts, your abilities, your successes, your falls, your smile, your frown, your personality, every single bit of it, your voice, your speech, your love, your care, your hopes and dreams, your mom and dad, your swagger, your clothes, your shoes, your imagination, your silliness, your seriousness, your pitifulness, your everything. This everybody is what love truly is. I think this should be in the dictionary, to be honest. Love is not something covered up in lies. It's all truth. Now I'll just share with you the truth. Now will you trust? And I hope you do because love is God and God is love. If a person is without love, he's without God. <laughs>